the drama, the, the pageantry of the meeting yesterday, Juliana, was there anything surprising? First of all, Tom, I don't know what would be more ugly, me pay playing football on the White House lawn or the Kabuki <laughs> theater uh, that we're seeing play out here. Yeah, really. Negotiating the negotiations. Look, I heard from um, one person familiar with this whole process this morning who said, that, the, that talks went into the night at the White House with top uh, White House aides and also uh, representatives and staff from the Speaker's office, from House leadership, and no decisions were made. So today is going to be a very important day. The president has additional <clears throat> meetings. We need to see if these uh, discussions are going to continue right. between the House side and the White House. Juliana, crystallize for us what the White House hopes to succeed in before this Sunday talk shows. What is Gene Sperling's to-do list? What is the president's to-do list? What is his cabinet's to-do list? So here's why some White House officials saw yesterday, obviously, as a positive development, right? And this is what the president said when he went into the meeting with House Republicans yesterday. He said, look, the fact that you guys are willing to do a clean debt ceiling increase, even if it's short term, this is a positive thing. But if we're going to also hold discussions around fiscal issues, around uh, the debt and deficit, then why not reopen the government while we do that? Republicans said, hey, no, we need to get something in return here. We need some concessions. And here's why White House officials are saying that, that you could see process, because the president didn't say no. Mm. He said, look, you know that you're not going to get something in return for reopening the government, but, but come to me. Let me see what you have to offer. And the Republicans did speak as well after they met with the president. Take a listen to what House Majority Leader Eric Cantor said after the meetings. We had a very useful meeting. Uh, it was uh, clarifying, I think, for both sides as to where we are. Uh, and uh, the takeaway from the meeting was um, our teams are going to be talking uh, further tonight. Uh, we'll have more discussion. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to have more discussion. The president said that he would go and consult uh, with uh, the administration folks, and hopefully we can uh, see a way forward uh, after that. Eric Cantor and Paul Ryan a lot more visible these days than in the beginning of the shutdown. Juliana, is John Boehner still the one calling the shots for the Republicans? Look, I, you talk to people, you don't really know who's calling the shots right now, Scarlett, and that's been the problem throughout this whole process. You've got 30 or 40 uh, Tea Party Republicans who are trying to steer the show, uh, and House Speaker John Boehner, Majority Leader Eric Cantor, who are just trying to get to their next caucus meeting. Right.